All right, guys, Georgia boy here. Uh, for part whatever for the Winchester 94 3030 and cast lead bullets. I loaded some on the low charge end and some more on the high end. Uh, and both shot terrible. I didn't even post any video of that. Uh, so I went back to the one in the middle, 25 grains. It shot the best out of all of them. I adjusted my uh, seating depth on my bullet and also uh, the crimp. And so I'm gonna try them one more time. If these don't work out, then I'm gonna need a different powder or maybe a little different bullet for this gun with this twist. So let's get going. Seventeen sixty nine. Seventeen seventy two. Seventeen seventy six. Seventeen seventy two. Seventeen seventy five. Not good. Let's see. Here we go. Not a very good group. It's just that powder and possibly that bullet. The bullet probably does need to be a 310 and it probably does need a little slower powder than 3031. So thus ends the Winchester 94 project. Uh, with that load. Hope you guys have a good day. All right, guys, while I'm down here today, I have a bunch of these jacketed bullets uh, loaded up, left over from hunting season. Now, I don't know that they'll shoot true to the sights now uh, because I did adjust this side a little bit to try to keep the cast bullets on target. Uh, but while we're here, I thought I would shoot these off of a rest and see how they do.
2008. Two thousand thirty four. Two thousand thirty three. Two thousand thirty-four. And this group shoot this that load shoots so good. Oh two thousand thirty-four. There's my four round group. There's two in the same hole, one half inch away, and I got one right there. So that's a good group. And that's with iron sights. So uh, no doubt I'll be sticking with that load. But I'm going to have to work on the cast. So. Probably a little bigger bullet and a little slower powder, and we'll see how that goes. Hope you guys have a good day.